What's up guys and welcome to the vlog. Before we start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to another YouTuber all the way in Okinawa, Japan. His name is Captain26. Link is in the description, popping up on the screen as well. He gave me a shout out a couple days ago and, uh, well, <laughs> a bunch of subscribers joined, which is really, really cool. So thank you so much for doing that. I did really appreciate it. All right, one more thing before we start this video. I'm running a QA and a sometime this week. I did make a post on Instagram, a whole bunch of people sent me questions. If you guys want to know anything about me, about my cars, my plans, anything really, drop a message in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram. I'll answer them in a live video or maybe just a normal video. Anyway, enjoy this one. I had a bit of time this weekend. I decided not to pick up the camera and I just worked on cars. Yesterday I worked in the GTR. It's been parked off in the corner for quite some time now because uh, my boost gauge popped and I stripped the whole dash into pieces and I just really haven't had time to sort it out. So yesterday I spent some time, I rewired everything. There was some legacy stuff in there that I, I pulled out that I didn't want rewired and it's actually running really well. I drove the car really hard afterwards. First time I've done that in a while and I probably should have set up a camera for that, but we'll do it again soon. RX-7 behind me. It's been a while since we started it. It's been about three weeks plus minus, four weeks maybe. And the car started perfectly, if you didn't watch the video. The link's in the description as well. Ready? Ready. It sounded insane. Very loud, because I didn't have a downpipe on the car. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there's a V-banded section over here with a short little pipe that, well, it's not gonna be like that forever because I need to make a down pipe with a V-band section. So what I did is I threw that HKS pipe. That's the down pipe for the stock twin turbo setup. I threw it on top so it wasn't so damn loud and the flames kind of just shot that way. Anyway, car started up beautifully. Everything was cool. What's left to do right now? Well, I need to block the heater pipe and I need to block the side on the block. So what I'm doing is heater pipe is that one over there. I'm going to be running a long hose back today already got it somewhere here that needs to be changed just seven out of time to do it and aircon's coming out we were supposed to work on friday john and myself and gareth there was some weather warning and there was heavy downpours so we decided let's cancel working on the car especially with the rain i wouldn't be able to film you guys wouldn't be able to hear me talk so i canceled it and i landed up doing a live stream which is cool if you guys haven't seen that Go take a look, it's the previous video to this one. And what are we going to be doing, what we were supposed to be doing, is pulling out the aircon pump. I've decided I don't need aircon at all. I live in a very humid place, a place called Durban in South Africa. It's hot, it is humid, but you know what? I'm not going to be driving this car in the heat, because I know, well, don't boost your turbocharged car when it's hot. I'm not going to be driving this car in the heat. I don't need an air conditioning. Most of the time we're driving at night or quick drive on the weekend and really I just don't need it. So air conditioning is coming out. That's the whole pulley assembly, the condenser, all the pipe work, everything's going to be coming out. Once that's done, I need to sort out the new radiator. It needs to come in at a V, it's supposed to be a V mount, so it needs to come in at an angle, an angle to the intercooler. Intercooler is also going to come a lot through the back because currently I'm using a stock radiator which is not right. This guy needs to drop down once the new radiator is in and the intercooler is going to come flush with this bar here. So that's an update on the mechanical side. Today I spent some time wiring up stuff. So there's the wideband. That's all sorted and working. Right, I haven't finished closing everything up but you get the idea. Work in progress. Um, I need to show you Need to reconnect the battery quick and then I'll show you guys what I've done. So what we got here is we got an AEM wideband. We've got my Apex e Power FC that was already sorted out and working. There's an HKS EVC4 here. I've got a Blitz Dual something something turbo timer. That's just a Blitz turbo timer. But this is pretty cool. See this little pipe over here? You're supposed to connect your vacuum to this and then it actually gives you boost readings. So that's something nifty. 
What else have I got? I've got my ETC here, electronic toll collection system. Let me show you guys what everything looks like. Let's start with this one. Right now that she's spoken, HK CVC4, very, very simple unit. Literally just turn it up and down however much boost you want and you just watch it with a boost gauge. What you should do though, if for say you want to get like one bar, put a little bit of tipex so you know where one bar is. I can see they've already done that before. So I don't know what mine's going to look like, but I'll be sure to do the same thing. I'm just going to clean that with thinners when I get a chance. That's going to get mounted up here. It's not fixed right now. Um, this isn't plugged in because there's no... It's not getting any proper readings, rather, because it's not uh, connected to a downpipe, because there is no downpipe. ETC is functional. I don't have a card for it, though. And then, here's my Blitz Turbo Timer. The Blitz Turbo Timer is actually quite easy to, to install. I pulled it out of the black FD some time ago. Removed this whole section here for the steering wheel. Um, there was some wiring that I just had to bypass, or it was like a T-junction type thing. And then, yeah, this thing. Alright, so it's got the timer A, which means timer auto. So it's one of these automatic timers, my GTR has got the same thing. If I've been driving the car really hard, it'll idle the car for like 10 minutes or whatever it feels is the necessary amount of time. Then, push that again, that's a manual timer. And then off, and then there's boost readings in kg, cm, I think it's like close to bar, I don't know. Peak boost, pretty cool. I don't know, I probably won't use that boost setting. I'm, I mean, I'm going to have boost coming off the Apexy Pyro C anyway. So this coming weekend, I just need to close everything up here, put all the panels, there is another panel that needs to come over here. This is going to get stuck to the panel here somewhere. And I'll be able to see it from like, that angle while I'm sitting down. This goes there somewhere. This is definitely going to be in that area. Hmm. Just thinking about it now. I mean, I'm not going to get any readings of this because it's such a basic unit. Maybe I should put this at the bottom. And then move this and set up the, the vacuum so I can get some readings. Maybe set it up here and then I can see what's going on. I like the position of that, that's cool. Anyway, I'm getting places. The reason why I haven't fast tracked on this car. That's quite a sucky reason to be honest. Is my daughter's been sick again. She's had all sorts of viral bugs and just weird stuff because this is the first time we've put her in school. She she never went to school before. She was always at home with my wife and we decided she needs to socialize a little bit more so we put her at school and now she's getting sick and sick and sick so we're in the hospital four times last month haven't been able to play with the car this weekend was awesome though and that's why i decided not to pick up a camera what else i wanted to talk to you guys about a website that i use to buy stuff and um it's a company called from hyphen japan dot zero to jp um so from japan actually there's no hyphen from japan dot zero jp I bought so much stuff from them last year. This year I just calmed down a little bit because I was working on all the cars, but like weird little things. So for example, here's the keys for the for the FD. I picked up this little thing, initial D. That. And the little AE86. So I got that for like five US dollars and I think that was with shipping as well I just sent it slow mail it took like six months to get you out to South Africa and then I bought a lot as in a lot where you buy stuff together and it was these little cars then so for example I picked up like this little Audi Quattro this little Subaru police car this little GTR and this little FD I mean they are tiny in scale have a look at the pen tip versus these see crazy and then you'll know what this is super cool 
Those all came together. Oh wait, there was a little fire truck thing. Yeah, and then whatever that is. Oh, it's a truck with a shark in it. How weird is that? So all of those together was like ten dollars. Picked up this Apexy thing quite cheap as well. Um, bought a bunch of boost controllers. Did give some away to a couple of mates. Eighty A E eighty six. So just random stuff that I bought on the cheap. This boost controller, wherever it is, that one, HKS EBC4, also came from, from Japan. And so did my wideband, that was new there. So just something interesting. You know, I started cleaning up in here, but I'm not finished, still a lot to do. All this crap's going, um, Russell's going to be taking all of this, don't need it anymore. And I'll probably just keep the turbos, I don't know what I'll do with them, but I'm sure we can find a use. Alright guys, well that's it for the video, just a simple quick update on what's been happening in my life and what's been happening with the RX-7 FD3S and a little bit about the GTR. MR2 not doing anything right now, uh, black RX-7 not doing anything right now, they just parked off. And I think that's it. Guys, uh, if you're on Discord, link in the description, come join the Discord, live discussions, live chats, I'm on there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you all in the next video, peace. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the f*** are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're driven